Hi there, this is Sean, Discount TV and Computer Repair out of Oklahoma. Welcome back. If you've already seen one of the other videos. I'm going to try to post some more videos as I get more unique, uh, uh, unique symptomatic problems in and boards and so on and so forth. But in this particular case, the customer was experiencing a convergence problem, meaning that when you look at the TV, your red, green, and blue colors become out of alignment. Your picture becomes bowed and warped in nature and the words and so forth. And if you're looking at the news channel, for example, a news anchor, you might see two heads. You might see one that's blue and the other head might be red and green. Okay, and with a remote control, if you have a convergence option or if you have a magic focus button on the bottom and it doesn't do anything at all, then you're going to need to look at this video. This is what we're talking about. We're just going to rotate this board around. <clears throat> and what you're looking for here are convergence amplifiers, and here they are. They're located on heat sinks, and these heat sinks are usually easy to pick off. In a lot of cases, they're located on the uh, deflection board, what's called the deflection board or high voltage board, but in this case, it's on the signal board. What happens is over time, six, eight, or ten years, is the thermal paste that's behind these convergence ICs tends to deteriorate in quality. When it happens, the ICs reach what's called thermal runaway. Then you run into problems like you ran into and you start Googling or looking on YouTube. Now, one thing I want to point out is, let me shine the light on here. This particular convergence I see says STK392-110. You'll notice that the other one says the same thing. And that's true. They're both, they're both identical internally. Although, on the board, on the circuit level, they each perform a different function. One will converge blue and green, and the other will converge red and green, each sharing the master color being green, which, by the way, uh, it's a separate whole video, uh, but later on, after you, if you're successful in making the repair, you may need to get into the service mode of the TV and converge, do a manual convergence. If you have to do that, you do not want to mess around with the green color. That's the master color. You want to pull the red into the green and pull the blue into the green in the crosshatch pattern. That would all be explained in a repair kit. Now, you can order a repair kit uh, which will contain everything you would possibly need in the convergence circuit. Amplifiers, convergence resistors, and any associated Pico fuses, uh, which by the way, uh, this board does not have any Pico fuses. Uh, the kit will also contain a CD which will have the service manual. It will also have a very good tutorial with pictures explaining this whole process. Very easy to follow along with. I order mine from tvrepairworld.com for the simple fact that I know that I'm going to get OEM replacement ICs. There's a lot of knockoffs out there in the net. You might come across a good deal on one of these 392-110s for 9 bucks, 12 bucks, 15 bucks. They're a knockoff. Chances are you're going to get a knockoff. It may work, but it may not. You're taking a risk. And when it comes to customers, I don't like to take risks. So I want to make sure I'm ordering OEM replacement ICs. So I go to tvrepairworld.com, and I order my associated kit. Now, if I'm not sure what kit to get, and I don't see it listed on the website, I send them an email. Customer service at tvrepairworld.com. Tell them what model you have and the kit that you need will be recommended to you. You'll know which one to order. Now in the event where I've uh, checked my convergence resistors, and by the way, let me just rotate this board a little bit. You want to isolate each resistor from the rest of the circuit so that you don't get what's called a, a distributive resistance reading, which can be very uh, inaccurate and misleading. You want to isolate each resistor from the, from the rest of the board and measure it with an ohmmeter. In this case, this resistor is 120 ohms. It's, it's written right on the resistor. And so what I expect to get with an ohmmeter is 120 ohms plus or minus 1%. So 
You want to make sure you check those because you don't want to take all the time and effort in removing this board, ordering your parts, your amplifiers, um, and uh, come to find out later uh, the color blue will not converge for the simple fact you forgot to check one last resistor that happens to be tied in with blue. So you want to make sure you check those. Okay, as you remove your uh, wires from the connectors, um, it's a good rule of thumb to take a masking tape. If you're, if you're unfamiliar with this process, label each wire as you remove it to the associated CN reference designator on the board. Each one will be labeled CN123, for example. Makes for a lot less frustration later if you know exactly where those wires are going to plug back into when you go to reinstall the board. Now, one thing I'm going to mention, in the event where I've checked all my convergence resistors and they're absolutely fine, I don't need any. I just need my amplifiers. In that event, I'll go to servicemanuals.vstore.ca. Uh, I'll say it again, servicemanuals.vstore, V is in Victor, store.ca, CA is in California. They're essentially the same company as TV Repair World, only this particular website lets me order individual components. So, for example, I could order just a convergence resistor and have it shipped to me for just a few bucks. Same thing holds true for the convergence ICs. Uh, now, if you're going to order a kit or individual components, uh, just tell them we sent you discount TV and computer repair. Ask them if they got any specials or anything anything on clearance. Um, you never you never know. Um, okay, one thing I want to mention on the back of the board, you want to use a magnifying glass to check your solder work afterwards. Now, right here is the back side of one of the convergence ICs. Here's the other one. Use a magnifying glass and check your solder work. Make sure you don't get any solder splash or solder bridges. That can cause a whole world of other problems. You want to clean the board up, your solder work afterwards, and I like to use 100% uh, alcohol. It leaves no residue and makes for very good cleanup. So, order your parts, install your parts, clean your work, and check your work. Now, in the event in the event that you come across this problem with a convergence problem in, the, in your projection TV and you're successful in removing the board, but from that point on, if you, if you don't feel comfortable doing the solder work, uh, you're welcome to send us an email. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about uh, performing the work for you with the solder work uh, and shipping the board back to you upon repair for a small fee. Okay, that concludes this video with convergence errors and the convergence repair as associated with rear projection TVs. Very common failure.